Action News investigation as getting results to protect one of your most prized possessions. Yeah, last year Ryan Kath exposed a shocking real estate fraud scheme. He's here with new developments tonight out of Missouri State Capitol. Ryan. Mark, we showed you how easy it is to steal someone's home and how there's very little to keep it from happening to you. Now lawmakers are trying to change that. A year-long 41 Action News investigation uncovered how thieves are forging signatures of the living and the dead to steal homes. Several times we broke the news to homeowners. Is that your signature? Nope. Is that your signature? Oh, no. Is that your signature? No. Leaving victims confused. I'm so dumbfounded. I, I don't know what to say. And upset. Are you mad? Do you want me to really tell you? Sure. Hell yeah, I'm mad. How can you blame people for getting frustrated and angry over this issue? TJ Barry should know. The Missouri State Rep had his own deed dilemma at this Northland property several years ago. So he's aware how time consuming and expensive it is to fix. Once you see it's widespread, then you got to try to figure out the solutions to the problem. He's proposing a bill that would make it easier for victims to recoup their losses from the legal headache. It would also require title companies to police the system and look for red flags. Did you sign this woman's name on this deed? For instance, we connected this man to a dozen dirty deeds. Some Sometimes captured on courthouse surveillance video, filing several in one visit. This is identity theft on steroids. The 41 Action News investigation also sparked interest from Gail McCann Beatty, a Kansas City lawmaker with an extensive real estate background. Why did you want to do something about this issue? A home is probably one of the biggest investments people make. She's filed a house bill that would add background checks for notaries and better reporting of lost or stolen stamps. It would also require people to leave a thumbprint when getting a deed notarized. That's an idea we first told you about in December. Why do you think that could be effective? Because if I know I'm doing something wrong and someone's going to have my thumbprint, I'm going to think about it before I do it. And just this morning, a committee listened to testimony on the fingerprint bill and passed it on to the full house. We'll keep you posted on that. This crime was new to Kansas City when we first exposed it last February, and it shows. More than a year later, all those forged deeds still remain under investigation. We'll let you know if and when criminal charges are filed. I'm investigative reporter Ryan Kath, 41 Action News.